180. First leg, James to throw a first. Bit of a Game. nod. A lot of players just uh, touch knuckles now. It isn't the handshake, is it? It's the modern way of touching knuckles. If you've done that to a few players in our days, you'd have got your knuckles wrapped, I think. <laughs> it's the fist bump, <laughs> Rod. I think that's the technical. Oh, term. is that what it's yeah, called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what the kids are calling it, Rod. Yoko Kamula. Big noise on the Scandinavian tour. 60. There got is his... George Noble. Puppy is his nickname. You can see why. Eighty-five. Saw James Wade admiring the fish in the lake outside here. The NH Cunnings off. I oh, know there's some big ones in there. If we're here next year, I might be bringing my fishing gear over. Mind you, we told the boss 16. Barry Hearn that there's a big lake here with fishing. It he might be popping over himself. Yeah, those fish look pretty worried. Adrian Lewis was sizing them up earlier on as well. Here's another one who likes his fishing. Does Adi? 140. Kamula being supported here by his mate and World Cup of Darts teammate Yanni Havisto. 81. Havisto not qualified for this one. Some player, though, real talent. Turned up at the World Championships. Surprised a lot of people with the calibre of darts he was playing. Yeah, I think what, what the Europeans have got to do, Dan, is, is try and somehow play on the PDC regular tour because we've still got the majority of tournaments in England. You know, and they literally are week in, week out next year. 48 weekends, we've got tournaments next year. Because that will harden them up, give them the experience to do it week in, week out. 100. Just Change rocking up once a month, once every six weeks in our system. You know, it, um, it would improve, especially people like Kamula. You know... Brilliant player. We see Wade in that double top. Now the double ten. We're normally at the end of his fingertips, and James there it is. Oh, the first double leg. ten. James Wade. And James Wade is on the four. Second leg, Yarko to oh, throw first. If you were playing Game Monopoly on. with James Wade, that's the first thing he'd buy is the double ten. So <laughs> <laughs> Tonchi Restovic, Croatian Monopoly champion. Yep. Awesome. Wondered if I'd get to use that little nugget of information again this weekend. 140. Didn't see him go out in the first round. I led you in there quite well as you well. You did there. Oh, cheers, Ron. Get a drink later. 100. Well, when Kamula did beat Paul Nicholson, I was having a chat with 100. Gary Anderson afterwards and very quick to point out Kamula, back in his BDO days, very tidy player. And he won my World Masters finalist back in 2001. 100. He lost to Barney. He made the semi final of the World Darts Trophy. He actually beat Wade in the last 16. And that is uh, one of three times they've met in the past. Kamula's won a couple of them. So 58. Yeah, there's no question. A top, top player. And that's why I said, you know, if he could get over and play more on our tour, he would sharpen himself up, you know, and just get that extra 5%, which is the edge he needs to compete at the top level all the time. And it would be great if we could, you know, find a way of getting all the Europeans over all the time. But obviously, the financial side of things uh, uh, is what holds it back. You know, it's not cheap to travel nowadays. And 100, Yoko okay, you require 121. Solid leg this from Kamula, 121 left after nine. Looking to hold his throw and level the match up at one apiece. Doesn't have to go the bull route. I mean, when you have the option of going for bullseye now. 97. That sets it up very nicely. Like I said, a very tidy leg from Kamula. <coughs> Double 12 after 12 darts. On his throw, not going to lose too many legs. 57. York, are you required If you're doing that, so he's going to get a good couple of handfuls of darts at it. Wade, a real poor scoring leg. Across the double six. 
Yeah. And the board we go. Wade still not on a finish. No so score. Sensible darts that, you know. He's, he's busted that deliberately. He's look at Wade's throw. Seeing he can't get out, rather have darts at double 12 when he comes back than double three. That's um, sensible thinking from Kamula. 60. Yoko, you require 24. So we'll have another crack. And double 12, he wants to level the match up. Ooh, just misses inside there. Double six. And you bang in the middle of that bat. And that'll please Yarko. Not that he'll tell his face. One apiece. Yeah, sometimes, you know, James Wade's average is not as good as it you think it should be. And it's for exactly the last leg reason. When Wade, uh, Wade gets so far behind in the leg, he doesn't care about winning it again. You know, and he doesn't want to hit big scores. He'd rather use them in the next leg. I know people go, well, that sounds crazy, but it's true. 60. You see it so often with James. When he loses leg, he wants two, two and a half hundred. Of course, that, that keeps his average down. But if you look at his winning leg average when he wins, it, it's huge average. Yeah, he could be winning legs regularly in 12, 13 yards. That's why sometimes, you know, the average does not tell the true story. Sometimes you get a, um, a loser's average be above a winner's average. And all that is, is the legs that your opponent has won, you've, you know, you've not scored well in it. 100. Adjustment from James Wade there. 83. Can't follow it with a second dart in the treble bed. Well, you see Camilla's throw there. <clears throat> it's pretty, pretty solid, 100. isn't it? You know, mm. not too many over-moving parts in it. James Wade, well, he gets it there, sets it there and just releases... Have you noticed James Way's darts? As he brings it back, he kind of rolls the barrel in the mm. thumb. You can see, that identify that because the, the flight's twisted in his hand, which is unusual. You wouldn't see that with, with a lot of other dart players. Is he, sp is he spinning that as he releases yeah, it then? That's exactly what's happening, yeah. Characteristic in his throat. As you can see it as it comes back there, the flight's twisted. That means the barrel's rolling down the thumb. Well, I don't know whether the rhythm or the slowness of Kamula is upsetting James Wade at the moment, but certainly another player that played brilliant yesterday and yet to get into his stride. As we see with David Pellet in the previous match against Brendan Dolan. Kamula, nothing wrong with Kamula's throw at the moment. Well, what a time to hit the first maximum of the match as well, to leave him double eight. And James Wade back on 144. It's the kind of shot that he's made a career of taking out, but he's not going to do it here. And Yarko Kamula, he's looking good to break the Wade throw and go 2-1 up. No score. Unbelievable. Unbelievable that he's James gone busted 100. and a chance. And you said about James Wade with his checkouts, and you're right. This is what he has made a career out of. Will he go double top or stay on that treble? He stayed on the treble. 60. Yeah, he I'll stayed on the treble there 16. because the first dart give it a good guide. Normally he'd go double top, double top. But certainly this isn't the leg to write home about. One of the very, very few legs. It's over 21 darts. Are you sure? It's a 22 leg. dart Yoko leg. Kamula. You don't see that very often, Dan. Fourth leg, oh, Yoko Kamula. First. Game on. Gifted that one, really. But he's throwing now for a 3 1 lead. I mentioned earlier on that a few players will be looking at a good run here to try and cement their place at the 41. World Championships or put them in contention. As things stand, I believe that Kamula. A place in the quarterfinals here would book a place at Ali Pali, although things can change, of course, between now and, and Christmas as James Wade looks to fill up that treble bed and does so. And what a way to respond to losing a leg on your own throw.
140. Kamula replies with a two treble visit. That's always a bit of a sigh when that next treble is missed. They're all thinking nine dart legs as soon as they see a 180. 81. The opening three darts. Particularly James Wade, a man who had such a reputation for hitting him in his early, early career. One hundred and thirty four. And again, the perfect first dart from Wade. And you know, when that first dart is in there, one hundred and follow up with another one. But Kamula, not out of this leg by a long shot. A ton plus here. And he's gonna set it up absolutely perfectly. Wade's gonna come back for that same hundred that he missed in the previous leg. 140. And now he's got to take this 100 out. 100. Yeah, well, he took it, hit 180 to leave double eight in the last leg, Kamula. 140 to leave 46 this time, but James Wade is going to have two darts at a double. And double 10, he's already hit it once. 80. And he's missed it, his favourite. And he's quite a long way away from it as well. And Yarko Kamula, that ton 40 in the last visit, has done him a huge favour. Well, double 18, he's left. And double 18 he gets. Yarko Kamula. The Finn. He's on a bit of a charge here. And that was a leg, remember, that James Wade hit a 180 with, kicked off, and he's done exactly the same in this one. Well, it doesn't matter what Wade he does, Kamula. Not frightened by it at all. Like you said, he isn't going to be frightened of anybody. He's 16. been around a long time. In the BDO system, one of the top players in the world. Well, there's number four. Number five. Come on, James, fill it up. Oh, and how lucky was that? Just that deflection. Oh, James Wade. Certainly up in his game, this leg. 140. What this crowd wouldn't give to see a perfect nine dart leg. Wade just wants to get the next leg on the board. Well, although he's gone off 180, 140. 50 a couple of visits like that, and uh, he's going to let Kamula in because Kamula's been scoring really well. Well, certainly, last couple of legs, he set up the shot very, very well. A 140 here does give him a chance. It's not going to happen. 60, James Rico, 124. He doesn't have to go to ball route. He may still go for the 18s, or will he stay in the 20s? He's gone for the 18s, stay there. Treble 18 leaves him double 16. 56. And it's not a gimme 68, so if Kamula can put in a ton 40 here, or even a ton 80, we'll have to settle for a ton 40 if he can find it. Oh, wow. 85. Jones, you require 68. It's doable for the Finn, but Wade's looking at 68. 12 for tops. And to reduce the arrears to 3 48. 2. Well, no, he's missed tops. Yoko, you require 156. Well, this could really hurt. 5 6. And the name of Barnvelt's favourite shots. And the dart's well high, so Wade's going to come back on his throw. The double 10. 60. And we see yeah, this double top 20. and double 10 in the previous leg. And he doesn't want to miss it now. He doesn't want to give Kamula a shot at this 96. Well, he thought that was in. He nearly walked there. But that he definitely is. He's in a fifth leg. James Wade. 3-2. He trails. Yoko to throw first. Game on. And Kamula still with a notable advantage at the moment. And how can he push that forward? Well, he can do it by starting off with a maximum of 140. 140. You have to do. You can see... Wade is 
up on the scoring, but those missed doubles dragging his average down. 140. One hundred. Solid from Kamula. What can Wade respond with? One hundred. Oh, matching each other blow for blow in this one. Yeah, but Kamula's got that advantage of throwing first. He's not missing a lot when he gets down to the double. The closer we get to the finish 81. line, the more edgy it's going to get. And this is where Wadey on 40, and again, a bit of a block of dart. Forty-two. Wow. Not very good, James Wade. Marco Kamula wants to set this up absolutely perfect. He's unlucky there. Can he grab another one in there to leave tops? 100. Not quite. But 100 will do, and that should guarantee him at least one dot at double top. But where's James Wade going to be? 137. Very surprised how high the second dart went. He certainly smartened 80. it up. And uh, Kamula, big, big three darts here. Take a two-leg lead, the big 20. This will be up near the double top, then the treble. Double top, and he hasn't been missing too many doubles, and he hasn't he missed that one. Sick flag, Yoko Kamula. Was so another James blow for James first. Wade, and now Wade, he really has got to step up. The score inside of his game. Oh, cool as ice, Jarko Kamula, the man from Finland. 40. 4 2 up, and Wade starts off 40. You've got to be favourite to win this match now, Kamula, despite Wade's pedigree. Just the way he's throwing. Getting the job done. 40. He's not making many mistakes, is he, on, yeah. on the scoring or when he's checking it out. You know, he's very steady. And James is a little bit off, especially with the second dart. A couple of times he's hit the Easy treble with the first. And not followed it. You have to say, Wade does have a knack of getting... Games won, winning matches that are 81. scruffy and sometimes matches he shouldn't. In this one, he's left himself quite a big hill to climb against Yarko Kamula. Another visit without a treble. And Kamula can turn the screw here. And that is a perfect treble 20 for him. All right, he's got a chance here, Kamula, to really turn the score 100. on James Wade. James just casually waiting back for Kamula. It's probably the, the pace of Kamula that's uh, just upsetting James's rhythm a little bit. I was saying that. He steps up and fires in a maximum. Well, it's his third 180 of the match, James Wade, and it leaves him on a finish as well. If he were to take out that 136, it would only be for a hold of throat. Oh, that's a dreadful dart from Kamula. Really needs to stay straight. If he stays straight, he leaves himself Shanghai. Change your require 136. 136 for Wade then. It's not going. For Kamula. 135. It's a lot trickier than the 120, which he perhaps should have left himself. Just wider, the trouble 20. You could hear the groan around the hall there. Ginger requires 78. 
Well, the treble 18 for double 12 for Wade. That's a long way off that treble for Wadey. He wants double top. Got to take this out. Oh, he brilliant. Shot in a seven player. Well, he gets a good check out for Wade. To Kicks him first. one leg away from Game Kamula, one. but is that break of throw down. So, got to far in a good leg, but Kamula at the moment on his throw, not doing a lot wrong. Once again, he's making it incredibly oh, hard no, for James no, Wade. No, no, That's his second 180 of the match. He did pull, pull him out when he needed him against Justin Pipe. It's one in the final leg that helped to swing it his way. And if he can throw a, a 12 darter here, he will win the leg and force James Wade to win the last three if he wants to stay in the Dutch Darts Masters. 62. It was a poor visit from Kamula, so now James has got to... Well, he's got to have a 140. He's got to try and get level with him straight away, and that's a bit of a block of dart. Will he switch to the 19s? Will he stay up there? No. He's, he's, yeah, he's tried, I think. 60. Perhaps a switch to those 19s with dart two and three. You can see Kamula just shading the averages in the scoring and overall. 99. He's left himself a finish, albeit a big one. And Wade needed a maximum, or somewhere very close to it, to leave a finish himself. So, Yoko Kamula. 100. He's going to have six dots Yoko, you require minimum. 160. To take a 5 3 lead on the world number five, James Wade, the seven time major winner. I was going to say, one big treble will do him. Oh, that's a wasted dart. He's made that a lot harder than he needed to be once again. One hundred. Well, he needed 75. that treble, and there is a little bit of pressure on this now for Kamula. Seventy-five. He's looking at fifty-eight left. Eighteen for double top, and a five-three lead. Oh, 35. that's not far away. Well, it is a, a big ask. This, but it's something that James Wade's got to take out, hasn't he? You know, there's there's no middle ground with this. And again, the first dart, not getting up enough towards the target. 41. So Kamula comes Yoko back, Yoko three Yoko clear darts 40. to go one leg away from a win. Like you say, Dan, that could put this guy on the road to Ali Pelli. And there is the, the dart he wanted. Yarko Kamula is 5-3 up and James Wade is staring down the barrel of a shock defeat. He's taken out Pipe. He's taken out Nicholson. He is on the verge of taking out James Wade. And Wade looking frustrated with his own darts. That's obviously blocked. He's like he can't even quite understand why it's not going for him at the minute. Well, again, a lot of his darts have been just lower the treble 20, haven't they? A bit like yeah. Dave Pellets. Mm. And sometimes you, you can't understand why. You know, you're in the practice room and you're firing away and you're hitting the treble 20. You get on the big stage and... Sometimes they go extremely high, but nine times out of ten, they will be the low dart. 100. And they, mainly, it's because of a little bit of a pressure. You know, the, the adrenaline and the nerves just tightens the arm up a bit. That's a better dart. He's got it, you know, right up in the treble. And when he's getting it up, he's following it. 140. Yeah, a little raise of the eyebrows when he did follow it. And as if he was suggesting that he doesn't know quite why he hasn't been able to do that so far this match. Despite that, he has hit three maximums. 100. Another steady ton from Kamula. Might not be enough against James Wade in this leg. But he's got the knowledge that he will 58. be throwing in the tenth leg. So if he can't nick this one against the Wade throw, he has every chance in the world of holding his own in the next and booking his place in the quarterfinals 
to face Brendan Dolan. Another solid ton. Ton, ton, ton for Yorko Komula. Well, he's doing the right thing. He's keeping with Wade. Hoping that Wade's going to miss a double, but this treble 19 or the bullseye. Well, he's gone for the 180 to leave double 15. An unusual double for Wade to leave. I was looking at the bullseye or the treble 18. Oh. And his leave, a pressure shot. And this double 15, 30. it's just down from his favourite double, double 10. And he's hit the double 10. Now the double five to stay in the match. One more dart for Wade. James and he hits it. And a ninth Pressure leg. dart, James Wade. Wade. You see it happen so many times. Just happens to leg, rock up to and do the right first. thing at the right time. Oh, well, Yoko Kamula hit the 177 as good as a maximum to leave probably a, a better looking double in double 12 one he has hit today. But he was wandering around at the back of the stage, refusing to look. Didn't want to see if James Wade took it out. And Yoko Kamula on the leg that he knows is the one that could gift him the game. Starts off 139. In the game we see, you know, that, that first dart very low from James. And I keep saying, you know, the first dart is what 100. gives you the range. If that's in the right place, the game is so much easier. Kamula is there again, and what a way to play in what could be 100. You know, one of the, the biggest legs of darts of his, his year. Well, it could be, like you say, Dan, you know, this could put him on the road to Alexandra Palace, the World Championships. It starts on the 13th of December, live on Sky Sports. Every single match covered. Before then, we've got the Grand Slammer darts. Starting around the 5th of November from Wolverhampton. Again, live on Sky. Tickets still available. And once what? again, Yarko Kamula finds the treble bed with his first dart. Brilliant dart. 134. Absolutely brilliant dart. He's going to get six darts, perhaps from 128. A little bit of anger in that first dart from James Wade has seen. Perhaps that's what, what, what was needed. A little bit of anger. Yarko, you, you require know. 128. You make the dart go fast through the air, it gets up a bit. Okay. Treble 20 for the bullseye. Well, he isn't going to have a go. Well, we keep saying it, Dan. How many times 56. have we seen James, James Wade take out shots like this when he has to, under the big pressure? Yeah, what a shot this would be. And it's going to have to be treble 17 for bullseye. And it's not going to happen. So Yarko Kamula should give himself a dart at a double. Now, he hasn't stayed straight a couple of times in the previous legs, and it has caused him problems. Deep breath from Kamula. Knows that if he stays straight, if he hits the big numbers, he will have a shot for this match. 52 left. Double top he wants. Oh, and it's high. James requires 64. And James Wade looks to step in. Double eight to stay in the match. Now double four. Oh, 16. and he's just pulled out a tad. It's gone a millimetre low, but you can Yorker, see Kamula walking around. Just wipes his brow. Just has to recoup himself. Massive darts this for Kamula. Double top. And he's been hitting the doubles pretty good in this match so far, but this double is by far the hardest that he's ever going to throw. For a 6-4 win, Yoko Kamula, he's high. And he works his way down to that double. He's gone underneath it. He has to get double 10 and gets it. Yoko Kamula knocks Yorko out Kamula. James Wade. The dream run for the Finn continues. Pipe fell at his feet. Nicholson was beaten 6-1. And James Wade falls 6-4. Yarko Kamula, the man they call Smiley, is into the quarterfinals where he'll face Brendan Dolan. Banana.